Good morning, chat. How are you? Inkwell Monster, 24 months of subbing, resubbing. Bork Ben Bork, 27 months in a row subbing. Cool Net, three months in a row subbing. What's up, everybody? What is going on this morning? How is everyone doing? I just like pens. Welcome to the chat. You're in the right place. You're in the right place. Queen of Washi, we're going to make your day better starting right now. Starting now. I copy seven months of summit. Let's go. It is time for a good day today. So we are here for you, Queen of Washi. Anything we can do to make you feel better, we're here for. All right. Hey, Brad, love the Johto. Good. So hopefully people who got the last batch of Johto's uh, have received them over the weekend here in the U.S. probably. Uh, a couple of international orders I'm sure have not arrived yet. Um, the hair has got some things going this morning. I've got that that fish thing going. Uh, I'm going to try to get a haircut this afternoon and see how that works. I have two Franklin Christoph Model 45s. It was 60 outside Sunday, and it's negative 15 wind chill today. L. L on that one. Um, it's uh, it's going to be like 75 today. I'm in short sleeves, short shorts, and sneakers and short socks like this is like summertime outfit today yes out new new shirt alligator shirt uh or is it a crocodile i don't know if it's an alligator or a crocodile i don't know if that's a pelican or some other flat billed bird and then there's like some egrets on here somewhere but yeah fresh out the box i had to down i had to downsize the shirts y'all had to downsize the shirts you know i'm melting away here we had to downsize so ooh la la listing could turn around my day shoot me an email i'll turn around your day it's a gator is it a gator? Yeah, I guess it looks like a gator. And you can tell it's right out the package because, like, I don't iron, so we just do this stuff. Tony, 36 months. I hope you're feeling better. Get composted, 26 months. Stereo sound, 20 months. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. We are going to town this morning. Greg, 10 months. Yes, new Hallow Bros shirt. Yeah, we had to, uh, yeah. we had, we had to re-up the shirts. Uh, we had to re-up the shirts. You're not feeling better? Damn. That, whoa. Hey, wrong button. Look at that. Look at that button. Michael West, two months of sub and re-whistles. 100 biddies with the melted snowman. It's negative one degrees here. It's going to be 75. It's sunny. I, I like It's summertime here. Spoonbill. Thank you. I knew I knew the name of that rather gin, but I was, uh, I, was, I was blanking. That's what happens when you're an old... When you become an old, you're better than last week, but not better, better. That's a mess, man. That is a mess. I, I hate that. I hate that. <clears throat> the back scales are in rows. That's how we tell it's an alligator. I'm going to raise your hand if you trust Rattler Jen. I mean, she's her, she has snakes in her name, so I'm pretty sure she can tell us about alligators or crocodiles. So, yeah. Going to be rainy here, sleepy weather. It rained pretty much all weekend here. Rained yesterday. Naper villain with the five gifted subs. Let's go. Woohoo! Thank you, Naper villain. Doesn't it feel like weeks since we've streamed? It feels like weeks since we've streamed, but it's only been days. We're mere days, and today is two twenty two twenty two for all the things. Naper villain, thank you so much. If you got a gifted sub from Naper villain, give Naper villain a shout out. Thank you, Naper villain. You're the best. You're the best. Brad, what's a good refill for the Karen Dash 849? Um, the um, Jetstream, the SXR 700, I use that. Um, I also use the Oto Flash Dry. Those are the two that I like. If you like a 0.5 needle tip gel, the Oto Flash Dry is really, really cool. Um, I, gen I tend to stick with like the ball points and I use the... Um, Jetstream SXR 700. Brad, I received the Baron Fig Freddy notebook yesterday. Love it. Hey, you have to send me a picture of what the cover looks like since I never opened it. We'll give away, I have the three pack of the soft cover here. We'll give those away later on today. Um, so yeah, I got something silly planned for today. So uh, anything y'all want to get to uh, before, just let me know. Chat it up. Brad, I was watching the Twa Toronto Twitch Live you, Mike, and Anna did two years ago. I just love that house soundtrack. What That was one of the best times ever. That was really, really fun. Um, I should go back and watch that, too. Like That was that was a huge, huge highlight. Huge highlight for me. 
um, and Mike and Anna. That was a great, great time. We had a, that was the uh, NYC Toronto pen tour where we went to N NYC, went to Fountain Pen Hospital, went to CW Pencils, then went up to Tor Toronto for the pen show, Wonder Pens visit, and a uh, cool uh, in house video that we did. Let's get to the silly. We'll get to the silly. I mean, it's not that silly. It's super, okay, silly. I'm going to say dumb. It's just one of, it's one of my harebrained ideas that I'm going to do today, and then we'll see how it goes. Murdoch, morning, Brad. I picked up some knock notebooks. Thank you. I'm down to like 124 orders left. So maybe by this week, like between now and Sunday, I hope to be done with that batch. And then I got to do the ooh -la -las. Um separately because i got to take some pictures of those yours came in much appreciated strings and pedals omg hi i owe you an answer i need to i'll re try to reply to your instagram your your last message um sometime today i was also watching moneyball recently and thought how that concept to be applied to pen twos um i watch moneyball frequently because it's on a lot and it's one of those good just like jump in and uh um, um, you know, I can pick it up at any time cause I've seen it so many times, but like, I, I definitely get that. Picked up a sailor, Jen Martini, MF -er over the weekend. Cheers. I'm pro the new sailor Jen series. Andrew, I owe you, uh, an email too. We talking movies. I can talk movies real quick. Y'all want to, y'all want to hear me talk movies real quick because I watched two movies this weekend. So I finished Deadwood last week. Um, so I have thoughts on that. I finished Deadwood. And then I don't know what series to start next. We can we can hold that a different, uh, we can do that differently. But I watched two movies that were in the list that were not Deadwood adjacent, but it's like I'm in the same mindset. I watched uh, No Country for Old Men and There Will Be Blood, which I had never watched, right? I'm like way behind on media. That's like my whole thing. So there you go. Question, anyone notice any difference in performance between nibs with breather holes and nibs with no breather? Do nibs with breather hole take longer to dry out? Um, I can't, like, anecdotally find any difference between the two. So. <clears throat> so I haven't seen any. Picked up a Sailor Violet Fizz this weekend. Schmevel and how was the LA Pen Show? Brad, a blue Pilot EF on Slack for sale. I'll have to look at that. Nightmare Alley. I don't know what Nightmare Alley is. Talk about issue with getting things from Japan and Germany. I mean, that's just talk about issues getting anything from anywhere. Schmevelin didn't go. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, yeah, Seth Bullock and I did not click from day one. I kept waiting for the Seth Bullock, Brad Likes Him Better tour, and uh, it never happened in three seasons. <clears throat> but... Um, there were some just uh, flat-out amazing characters in there. You're on your way home from Applebaum. Are you on the train? Mm -hmm. Station 11. I've heard about Station 11. I should watch that. Breathe the holes don't make a difference. IMG, I watched There Will Be Blood 2 this weekend. Not yet, so that was my first time seeing both of those movies. Um, I need to spend some time thinking about them. Um, like, just at... Like if you want me to compare the two, I definitely uh, prefer No Country to Old Men, No Country for Old Men, but uh, There Will Be Blood was good too. So, watch The Power of the Dog. Same guy did the music for There Will Be Blood. The music was amazing in there, wasn't it? Today is posting day. Post all the pens. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do today. Chat. Need to watch Dune. Actually, I would. I'm not a big sci-fi guy, but I would totally watch Dune. I need to watch that. On the bus right now. Then a train. Then another bus. Lovely two and a half hour commute. Mm. Watch the magicians on. Why have I heard? It seems like I've heard of the magicians too. Okay. Saw Kimberly yesterday and brought a surprise. MG Mia. I love the Mia. Really, really good. Desperately trying to find someone to send a Kurutoga dive to the UK. So Jacob reached out to me on Twitter. Jacob from to, uh, Tokyo Inklings podcast said that they're wiped out. Like all the store displays are empty um, in Japan. So they apparently either have a hit on their hands or didn't have a huge amount to begin with and they're sold out. So we're, you might have a hard time finding that. Watching myself through the Oscar nominations right now. I need to go like to 10 years back Oscar nominations. That's about where I'm at. 
Magicians is good. Wild, absolutely not for kids. Well, I mean, the last three series I watched were The Wire, Boardwalk, Empire, and Deadwood. So, yeah, I don't watch those around the kids. <laughs> Can I ask a technical question? You know yes, you may. Just got a sheening ink. Why does it sheen a lot more when I use a dip pen compared to a fountain pen? Same paper pen as Parker Sonnet F, if relevant. So with the standard pen, there is a lot more mechanics the ink has to transition through to get from the ink converter out the nib to the, the page, right? So it's the ink's going through, you know, the feed and then has to like touch the back of the nib and then get transferred through the tines onto the page where the dip pen is just like straight ink to the page. So it does, it is going to make a difference um, in there. So just a little bit. It's more of just like going straight to the source. Like you're doing like straight injected into my veins with the dip nib where it's going to get metered some in a fountain pen. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Dune is good, but the movie only covers the first half of the book. Read the book first. Okay. I don't think I can read the book. Maybe I will. I don't know. So we'll see. So my next choices for shows are Ozark, which I watched season one at the time season one came out and then never picked it up. And now it's in season five, right? Um, I don't know. I'm not, like not dead set on that. Or switching it really up and watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which I know is a perfect show for me that I've never watched a single episode of. So those are my next two, but I'm trying to hit some movies first while I decide, um, while I decide if I'm going to pick up a new series. So we'll see. <clears throat> I, I have seen Ted Lasso. Yes, yes, yes. I got to finish. I haven't seen the last two episodes of the last two seasons. I need to, I need to finish that. Ozark is dark as it needs more lighting to see what's going on. Gotcha. I actually watch these on my iPad, so I do... I mean, I just watch, you know, um, Deadwood, and a lot of it was pretty dark. Um, Boardwalk Empire was pretty dark, too, so I just ramp up the brightness on there, so... <laughs> Always sending is fantastically absurd. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, I might need a break. Like, you see the train that I'm on, right? <clears throat> the 89, 90s era of, era of Gundam anime. I can relate to the huge backlog feeling. Yeah. You know what? Breaking Bad, I only ever watched season one as well. I should probably pick that up. Like, that needs to be, like, in my catalog. Yeah. Peacemaker. I've never heard of Peacemaker. Far by. Thank you for the follow. All right, so uh, you could do the audio book for Dune. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. That's a pretty good idea. <clears throat> All right. All right, that's enough. That's uh, that's Brad's entertainment watch for, for the week. I'm just, I've never been like a big TV movie person. So like I'm way behind on all these things that are so popular. So I'm trying to catch up because I'm trying to, it's a really good clear my head type of thing, right? here um um to to catch up on some of this media like i i enjoy enjoy this stuff the good place i did watch i did like that all right here's what we're gonna do today chat um my plan was to just do this just like chit chat figure it out ask me anything play around do nothing in spe nothing specific then i had an idea that i've been chewing on for a little while so i figured today might be the way <clears throat> we uh we get this started so this is a very silly idea and it's going to require something from you um and we'll see how this goes so what i have cafe marte nine months oh yeah you still i still have that written down on my list slumberland studio Oh, Johnny Greenwood is the one that did that music? Oh, that's cool. I didn't really, I mean, I knew the music was insanely good, but I did not realize that was him. Cool. Well, now that makes me actually want to listen to it more. I actually think I need to rewatch There Will Be Blood more than No Country for Old Men, even though I prefer No Country for Old Men, if that makes sense. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I have this. Not that. I have this, right? This has been sitting in my closet for a while. So I have this, right? And you know I don't write letters and things, so. Um, but I've had these sitting here for a while. This is a box of postcards, right? Righteous gemstones, I've heard about that. I mean, that's probably right up my alley. So it's this whole box of, pit of postcards that have all these different cool, like, uh, cool type. It says high fives, hugs, and handshakes. Probably not the handshakes. And it's just like a whole type of, a whole bunch of designy um, postcards. So different themes, salutations, optimism, audiovisual, affections, strong language, correspondence, introspection, encouragement, destination, just for fun. All right, so we're gonna remove all these. We're gonna mix these up. All right, we're gonna move these. We're gonna... I could use these for something, right? Look, just blank tabs even though they're printed on this side. I'll put those to the side. Um, my postcard stamps. This is how old these are. I don't know when these stamps are from. The, oh, look, Spoonbill. Ryan Petriello. Nine months of subbing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Spoonbill. How funny is that? I did not plan on that. All right. And we're going to we're gonna mix these up a little bit. I'm not really gonna shuffle them, but like I'm just gonna mix up the order a little bit. And then we'll I'm gonna put them back in the box here. I'm gonna get Craig and Ariana off the screen once my hands are free. Whoops. All right. back in the box all right and then we have nah we, we want randomness we like am randomness here and then we have the posting nib right designed to write what I did oh please turn it off thank you I left the stove on this morning I've been busy this morning I cooked eggs this morning and I left the stove on. Tyler just told me the house did not burn down. So we have the posting nib. So we're going to try the posting nib on the postcard. Well, what are we going to write on the postcard? So since I'm not really good at writing letters because I have to like think about my feelings and my thoughts, right? I've always, I've decided, I don't know, like a month ago that, hey, I should do a postcard project. If you hear a bunch of racket, Tyler's emptying the dishwasher right now. If y'all didn't know, um, here in the United States, it's uh, President's Day. So a lot of schools, President's Day was yesterday. So a lot of schools take like a winter break. Our, my kids are off Monday and Tuesday um, this week. It's really, as McSweeney says it, it's really, um, it's mattress sale celebration holiday is, is really what this is. It's kind of a meaningless meaningless day but the kids are out of school for two weeks dust spec thank you for the follow so that's the uh that's the racket you hear queen of washi is on it song lyrics we're gonna write some lyrics but we're gonna write some specific lyrics for a specific project i want to do and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna write mf doom lyrics or i should say i'm gonna write daniel dumoulay lyrics and if you don't know who Daniel Dumoulay is, just do a Google search for MF space Doom, MF Doom. One dog night, 28 months of subbing, let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, he is a very prolific writer and producer, rap writer and producer uh, who passed away a year, two year and a half a year ago? Uh, a little while ago, he's around my age. He's like right around 50. Um, passed away um and 
he's just been always one of my favorite artists. Very strange, wild, and weird um, artist. But like with no two days, two days. Did I say two weeks? Yes, all caps when I spell the man's name. That's one of his lyrics. What's one of his most favorite lyrics? Thank you, October 31st, uh, 2021. But they didn't, his wife didn't announce his death to like December. It was a very strange situation. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomly pick a card out of here. I'm going to randomly pick an MF Doom lyric or Daniel Dumoulay lyric because he has a bunch of different names that he goes under. He started with KMD. Um, he has all kinds of side projects all kinds of weird projects with a lot of weird bands, but I'm gonna pick one of his lyrics. I'm gonna write them on the card and I'm gonna send them to y'all. Um, so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna set up the raffle bot. And if you want to um, enter to send me your address via Twitch instant messenger, don't email me your address, but I'm gonna put your address on it right now and drop them in the mail to you so i thought, think we'll do that a few times today is that cool it allows me to write shorter than like if i was writing if i was copying uh the book um it allowed me to you know talk with you a little bit more than just be head down writing you can have a little fun uh doing things uh with y'all and you know we'll see how this posting nib works and we'll test out another uh few pens and papers, see how they work on postcards. So real quick, I'm going to get someone's address here. So only do this if you want a postcard from me. And you need to be in a position to direct message me on Twitch. Okay. You need to be in a position to direct message me like now on Twitch, um, your address. So I won't put your address on the screen. But um, I will, I just want to be able to address them now, put the stamp on them, and then when I leave the house, throw them in the mailbox. So I want to do this a bunch. Like, we'll do a few today, see how it goes. And then just kind of like, this would be a fun stream to just kind of mess around. We always like to test out different writing and other things like that. Oh, I could find so many addresses. There is a messages button on Twitch. Sorry, Tyler's emptying the dishwasher. It's driving me crazy. Um, I guess is, Hey, y'all, before I open this, can, can y'all see if y'all can message like at pen addict on, on Twitch or should I just get y'all to email me and I can pull it up in the email? Thank you. Gosh, you were loud. <laughs> whisper. Yeah. Whisper. You do a whisper. Okay. Does that work? Like someone test, someone test it right now. If you don't mind. And and I'll I'll check them that I can get them. <laughs> Whisper, you just sent me one. All right, let me look. I don't have that pulled up. All right, no one else send them. Schmevelin's got it. I gotta pull up the right screen that I'm in. Hey, look, that's ten. That's ten. Ten whispers. All right, so you can whisper me. So we should do a um should I should I make a rule for the the whisper rule? Um Yep. All these work. I'm getting them all, getting them all. Okay. So we're going to erase all these. Smell you later. All right. So you will whisper me. All right. They are working. Okay, so if you can whisper me and want a postcard from me, you can enter this giveaway. So we'll call this. Um, so the project name I had, which I was going to put a hashtag for, I was going to Instagram these two, just the lyrics, obviously not your, um, not your address or anything that. I was going to call it Duma Day. So click on my username and then whisper. Okay. All right. So I'm going to hit open giveaway. Three dots next to the username on the profile. Gotcha. 
on mobile long press the panetic username gotcha coco lena 16 months of subbing so we'll have lots of opportunities to figure this out this is just something we're going randomly temporarily too early that was funny all right so let's let's this will be our this will be our first one all right and we'll do we'll do a few of these today and make sure everything's running smoothly and then we'll do some other stop stop hitting raffle i haven't opened it yet nerds i'm not gonna start it until y'all stop <laughs> y'all are creatures of habit way to go temporarily awry you sent my chat awry temporarily one could say <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. It, it makes it hard that a lot of some of us are on like a, a bigger delay than others, right? So it's um, it's I have to remember that like what I say right now, you might not hear for ten seconds from now, <laughs> depending on on you. All right, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna click open now. All right, and if you win. <laughs> You're going to whisper me an address to send you a postcard. I'm gonna pick out a random card here. All right. The only problem is I need to pull. All right. So I'm gonna pull up some. Uh, I'm, while y'all do that, I'm gonna pull up my uh, my lyrics page. <laughs> We'll just go straight into the one of the most famous. The only problem is there's a lot of bad words in here. I'm not going to put bad words on your postcards. So I'll, I have to read these to remember. If they, I need to read these ahead of time to see... Uh, yeah, so you can tell, okay. So, like, I'm not going to send you strong language postcards unless you approve. And if I send you that, you, like, you can tell me if you want bad words. On here. <laughs> Write it out like, uh, like uh, blanked out, kind of edited. I would like a bad word postcard in my next Brad mail. Okay. Capitalize my bad words. How many words are you writing per postcard? It'll be reasonably short, but this first one, like if I do this first one, it's probably like a hundred words, but it's got bad words in it. So we'll see. But like literally don't, like if you don't want bad words, tell me. That's like totally cool. Like I get it. I get it. <laughs> I want only bad words. All right, so let me, let's see how this works. All right. Naper villain, Naper villain. All right, so you, do you want to whisper me your address? And then you need to tell me explicit or non-explicit. Carol, I did get your whisper. I got, I, I got everyone's whispers. It looks like it's working fine. So Naper villain. All right, there's Naper villain's address. All right, and you can tell me. Gotcha. Yes, tell me in your whisper. You don't have to like answer it in chat. All right. So let's see here. So let's see if I can look out for that. All right. All right. So let's see. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna randomize. Not that. We're gonna randomize which card I pick here. All right, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> That's what you get, Naper Villain. <laughs> you get broke as the new rich. So let me find a lyrics here. I 
I should probably get a group of lyrics earlier so I don't have to figure I don't have to figure out through like while we're doing this so I need to uh Oh, here we go. All right, there we go. That's a good lyric. Okay. So, Broke is the New Rich. All right. So, we're going to... I'm going to write the lyrics on the camera, and then I'll take it off camera to write the address. I'm just deciding, I'm sorry, this is this is a learning experience for me too. I'm deciding how much lyrics to put on here. Okay, this is a good lyric and it's also kind of matches the broke is the new rich. All right. So this is from uh, Con Carne. This is on uh, mm food. So y'all will have to uh, y'all will have to uh, talk amongst yourselves while I'm good while I'm uh, busy doing this. So it's not too long. Let's see. And I I just have to write on these um, blotter papers. I just it's Alan's birthday. Happy birthday, Alan. You are awesome. All right. Let's see. I'm going to do this. So I need to kind of leave some space. Let's see. And I'm going to write pretty small. I really want to see how this posting nib does. So I'm going to stop talking now. Y'all should do a spelling bet. I will say these postcards are great for this posting nib. They're kind of smooth. Makes me positive to think about um, other pens. So this is Pilot Blue Black Cartridge. I'm not gonna write too small because it'll take too long. I do write slower if I write too small. And I'll, I'll show you all this up close uh, when I get done. need to root leave room for the stamp I should probably get music on even though I can't play dooms music Yeah, I, I, I realized that I was writing too far once I finished the first line. That was a mistake. So we're gonna have to fix this for future for future cards and just do half and half. But I'm not gonna this is also a learning experience for me. Basically I didn't think I was gonna be that long and then I got stuck. So we will fix this on the next card. So once we get into this, we'll uh, I'll let y'all like pick the pen and things like that. This is a Pilot Custom Heritage 912 with a posting nib.
And I should go ahead and put the stamp on first, too. <laughs> You gotta waterproof the writing somehow. Do I? Isn't that part of the fun? It's funny how close these lyrics match the front of this card. I'll read them to you. I also cho chose uh, MF Doom because the lyrics are so wild and just endless. It's fascinating to read. I would just read a book of this. Like two more lines, three more lines, I think. This might be a pretty long one. We'll see. I'll try to do shorter, shorter ones. It's not too bad, though. I will tell you this nib on this this postcard is perfect. Reminisce is a hard word to spell. So this is my normal writing speed, my normal writing size. Like this is, oh, there we go, misspell talking. Like if I'm just writing in my journal or something, this is pretty much the size and pace that I write at. I can write even nicer if I go slower. Here's a question for you. All right, done. All right, Ala, here, let me put the, uh, the lyrics. Let's see. Let's see here. How are we gonna do all this? We gotta write down the specs here of what we're using. Okay. I just wrote War and Peace. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Tuesday. I can send the card in an envelope? Nah. Nah. 
All right, I have just enough room for the address. We'll put the stamp over here. Let's do that now. All right. Yes, those um, those architect YouTube videos, that's how I learned my writing, not from the videos, but from actual blueprints. I would take blueprints and copy that engineering and architect style. It used to be, my handwriting used to be indecipherable from like a, like a blueprint text. Back, this is like in the mid 90s. Listening to Brad, Brad breathe, that's terrible. All right, so broke is the new rich. All right, this lyric says, vaster than the seven seas, bigger than Mount, Cal Mount Kilimanjaro. If they don't know, fill them in tomorrow on the horror show. A mental note, return Bob's record. Swear to God before he gets a job, he robs Eckerd. Blessed with a hot flow, tested it, got dough. Invested in stress, the best to finesse an opto. As I reminisce, never forget, when I was very broke, shot the Henny straight, couldn't afford to cop the cherry coke. There you go. Broke is the new rich. Clickbait title. It's a posting nib on posting cards, Evan. Not clickbait. Factually correct title. Factually correct title. All right, neighbor villain. I am going to swap this and put your address on, and then we'll do another one. All right. Whoops. And you can tell me your real name or not. I don't care. Like, not you, Napier Villain. I'm just writing Napier Villain on it. Highlight the rhymes. Hmm. That might ruin the, the whole thing. It might be just funner to use your, uh, your Twitch handle as your address. I should not talk while I do this part. I do feel like I need to put a box around this address so that it's clear. And we'll talk about postcard layout in a minute. to see if I should do this differently. Is that waterproof ink? Nah, but I mean, it's kinda. The Pilot, um, Pilot Standard inks have some little bit of waterproofness, but it's not like a waterproof permanent ink. You know, I may have to switch over to that, and we, we might switch that over. Like the, if these postcards is this, or this smooth, I can use the Platinum UEF and the Platinum Carbon Black cartridges. We could do that. Used to work for Eckerd's nice. All right, so let's do this. I'm just going to put a box around the address so it's clear to the postal service. That is definitely not waterproof, though. It'll, I, yeah, I think it's kind of a kind of a feature. All right. One in the books. All right, you already do another one? Let's do a giveaway real quick, and then I'll do another one. And, or we'll do more than one more. But let me do a giveaway real quick since we've already been like 50 minutes. I'm in no rush to end today. Um, so we can, hang, we can hang for a few, at least get a few more done. Define posting nib, please. So look up pilot PO nib, PO. Oops, I need to show you the camera. Dang it. So the nib has a downward turn. Let's see if we can get it in here. Focus. So the nib has a downward turn. Sorry, it won't focus very well. I got too much stuff in the background. So, I don't know, you can maybe barely see it in this. Hey, Spinzo. 
So what this does is make the tip very fine and very firm, right? So go, just do Google it. I have a review on uh, on the blog. I can't get the camera to pick up the hook here. So it's designed, it's called the posting nib because it was designed for Japanese postcards back in like the 1930s and 40s to be a very firm, fine nib that worked on any type of paper, like questionable paper quality. I should just pull it up on the, over here. Yeah, that sus paper, man. Should try writing with the flip side of the page. Let's see if I have a picture here. Yeah, I should be able to have one here. All right. So compared to a normal nib, it's got a hook almost. It's kind of bent down. So it's designed to be like a nail when you're writing on the page, right? And it's for bad paper. It, back in the day, it was designed for bad paper and fine writing, so like fine Japanese characters on questionable paper quality, right? So it was like a nail writing. It's probably a little bit softer than like what a traditional um, posting nib would look like, but that's what it is. So, but it literally means posting. Posting is literally means like for posting messages, like postcards. It is nothing like a fude nib. Fude nib goes the other way. Right, the fude nib bends this way, the posting nib bends this way. So the fude nib is wider and then thinner this way, right? So that's how the fude nib goes. Dim, I played Destiny. Yes, yeah, gonna be a good afternoon for Destiny. I don't know when I'm gonna get to play though. I got so much going on this afternoon. So posting nib is more like this, and the fude nib is like this. All right. So that's the differences there. Do y'all like my hands? Hands. Food A. Posting. <laughs> no, no, Grabby. We, I, we talk about it every now and then. For sure. All right. Let's do another card. Now do Concord. I don't know. There's probably some middle fingers in there. All right. Oh, next time I want to take, oh, then we're going to do hashtag do my day. Or maybe it should be doomsday. Nah. So maybe, maybe we get the plat since these cards are nice. Maybe we get the platinum UEF for another day. The next time we do this with um, carbon black, that would be a good one. All right, let's do another one. Oh, I was gonna do a giveaway. Hang on, I should do a real giveaway. Quick, quick, should I buy Pokemon Arceus? No, no. Give this one to Alan? No, we have to hold Alan's letters hostage. Is there any difference between the 742 and 43 size PO nibs? I don't know. I think they're, what, all number 10s? I always get these wrong. I think they're all number 10s on that size pen, right? I don't, is, I don't think there's a 15 posting nib. That would kind of defeat the purpose of it, right? I could be wrong. Do they do a 15 posting nib? Question mark? Do they do a 15 posting nib? All right. So this is what I talked about giving away. What um, hmm, I would I would like to try a 15 posting nib because I think it would be a much softer, right? All right. So this is what um, 
Sebastian was talking about earlier, the uh, Freddy and Co. MailChimp collaboration with Baron Fig. They're really nice, really cool um, patterns on the cover. So he got the hardcover one. And I'm going to give away this set of three uh, right now. And then we'll get back to writing. Archaeologists in 10,000 years will find the half letter. All right, so I'm doing a giveaway now. Looks like they do indeed do a number 15 PO. I need to, I'm going to need to try that. Stop, Michael. Y'all early raffle busters. Raffle busters. So this is for a notebook giveaway. We're going to give away these notebooks. This is the Freddy & Co. three-pack, very fun cover, Baron Fig confidant notebooks. These are super cool, super cool. All right, let's do this one. Yeah, so now that I know there's a number 15 PO nib, that goes on the research list. Because I would think would be the posting nib would be better in a smaller nib. Because you the posting nib, one of the priorities of a posting nib design, in my opinion, is firmness, right? And the bigger the nib, the bigger the gold nib, the more spring and bounce it has, generally speaking. It's that's a generalization. So Thinking about that, I wonder if the 15 would be as enjoyable as the 10, which is one of my favorite nibs ever. That's a, that's a challenge. That is a challenge. We'll think about that. I'm excited about this. All right, we need... Before we uh, do the next one, we need to talk about postcard layout. I might have to do this differently. I might have to like legit write small. I thought Food A Fan talked about how counterintuitively the smaller pilot nibs were softer. Interesting. I would love to hear that. And I wonder if it translates to the posting nib because it's such a, it's almost like a specialty nib. Not really, but kind of. Cause like the pilot Falcon nib is kind of firm, right? Like it's got some bounce in it, but I kind of like, it really has a solid snap back. I think pilot makes a number five posting nib. Cool. See y'all spending my money today. Carol's been spending my money. Y'all are spending my money. All right, let's pick this winner. Then get back to writing. This winner is Evan Max Twitch. Evan Max Twitch. Have you ever actually won anything in stream, Evan? Evan Max, 34 months of subbing. Have you ever won after 34 months of subbing? Certainly once, right? Once before in the early days. Yeah, it has been forever. Evan Max Twitch. Speaking of Evan Max Twitch, he is up in next in the Friends of the Show queue for Panatic members. Um, we'll have a uh, podcast released in that feed uh, probably Thursday, I think. All right, Evan Max Twitch. There we go. All right, so let's talk about postcards real quick. Oh, uh, Boo You and. Uh, shoe bamboo if you're here I haven't shipped your uh, stuff from last week so we'll do that uh, this week sometime apologies apologies all right let's talk about postcards real quick do I since I'm new at this yeah it's I just realized it's sitting right here and I shipped a bunch of stuff Saturday and I just forgot to take these out my apologies but we'll get them out um, we'll get them out 
Thursday, maybe tomorrow, most definitely Thursday. All right, so on the postcard, should I draw a line down the middle and leave room, like pre-draw room for a stamp and address? Or should I just not worry about it and do whatever I want? What do y'all think? Like, I'm a noob at this. That's the first postcard I've ever written. Naper Villain, you're getting the first postcard I've ever written. Like, kind of pre, pre-draw, freestyle, pre-draw. <laughs> I do like the idea of, like, the pre-draw line. Pull. Box for the stamp and line down the middle. I could pre-stamp them. Like, I'm fine pre-stamping. Stamp an address first. Do I box the... Uh, well, I'm not going to do this because I don't know that we're going to pick. Cover address with a sticky while I do it. I see. That makes sense. So I don't. All right, quick poll. Pre-draw. Pre-draw the lines. So pre-draw means to kind of set my layout before I write. So it would be a line down the middle, stamp, and address. Do postcards get a discount for the mail rate? Yes. So this postcard stamps are, I don't know how much they are, but they're less than, ooh, make a stencil. That's a good idea. I don't have a stencil to make right now, but that's pretty cool. The line could be a little bit right of center. That's a good idea, right? Just do it more of a, like a two-thirds, one-third type of deal. But like what I wrote, um, the last one that I wrote was probably longer than I think these could go, but you never know. So pre-draw. I'm kind of with y'all. I think I would have voted pre-draw as well. I think I'm, I'm with y'all on that. All right. Let's put this back. All right. Let's do a, um, let's do this. I have way too much stuff in the way. Use one of the tab deals you took out of the box for stencil. Oh, I see. Beth, you're so smart. That's why we need planner gurus in here. They have all the tricks up their sleeves. All right, so this giveaway is open. You just enter it to send me your address to write you the next postcard. So what would this look like for a stencil? Spit on the mic, yuck saliva. Mm. Alright, so I'll think about that. I can work on that. That's a great idea. That's like a genius level idea. Tier one idea oh put that back in there too all right i gotta think about Lagging man, thank you for the follow. Why didn't it alert me? Appreciate you. Will the postcard require ballpoint rollerball or will it be fountain pen friendly? These postcards are very fountain pen friendly, it seems. Box the address so you can write the lyrics anywhere else, like around it. Okay, yeah, so I'll definitely have like a cutout. I need to like cut a notch. I need to get an X-Acto knife so I can cut a notch where the line will go and then have the squares for the stamp and the address. That'll be cool. I'll do that. If you do one whole song, divide it into several postcards and the recipients mean align the postcards, they unleash superpowers. Dang it, Rich Sticks. Uh, 33 and a third. Did I listen to any of those? I don't think I did. It seems like I'd... I know exactly what you're talking about, and I've seen the feeds. I'm trying to think if I ever actually listened to one. Today is Margarita Day. How is it Margarita Day? 
in the middle of February. Why is it middle of February? <clears throat> All right, let's pick a winner. Takes a nation of millions. Okay, I'll, I'll we'll find that episode. What? One dog night. The last raffle entrant was the winner. All right, all right, Jackie. Whisper me your address into via the Twitch app. Tell me, and in that, tell me if you want explicit or not. I should have pulled the explicit cards from here so I don't have to keep uh, looking around for them to either pick one or to avoid one. And then I will be thinking about... Um, what I need to do. All right. We got that. So let me see if I can find. <laughs> How about... <laughs> this one's not ex explicit, but this seems right for you. Le Beast Sexy. <laughs> what is that? What does that even mean? <laughs> Any emoji news? I've sent emails. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of perfect i like that one <laughs> that's funny all right all right i got your address all right so what we're saying is i should do a line hey look wrong way probably like two-thirds one-third i don't want to run my posting nib along this though what do I have over here that I do oh here we go grab that Kaveco yeah well that's got the premium nib on there that I haven't reviewed yet I want to wait on that so let's see that's a little too small And I like the, the not full length, full length line aesthetic. And we'll put the stamp on here. And then like, I don't think I need to pre-write the address. I think that's enough room for me to write whatever I'm gonna write. I'll leave those there. All right. We'll stick with the posting nib and we're gonna go back to all caps and figure out what was the section that I wanted here. Let's see. All right, this is a long one. This might be the long. I know, it is a bold choice to pre-stamp. Well, I almost forgot to stamp the last one. Here's how the last one went. Right. So we just kind of fit it in there. All right. I'm going to write smaller on this one because this is after this one. I think I'm probably going to have to shorten the the um, the lyrics, the, the length of what I'm going to do. I'm going to write this one smaller, though. Hey, hang on, I gotta take this call.
Sorry, my car's in the shop, so we just had to. He, they had to tell me how many things uh, they were gonna they were gonna charge me for, but no, he just had questions. So, I I might miss what y'all say here, so I don't know. Yeah, this like this isn't even as close to as small as I can write. This is just as as small as just like kind of like this is like normal small. This isn't even extreme small. But this will fit on the card better at this size. So, sorry, I just realized how I'm breathing into the, the microphones right here. So it hears me breathing. Could you write the address perpendicular to the body of the lyrics? Sure. The problem when I write this small is that I just keep going faster and faster and the faster I get, the larger and messier it gets, the handwriting gets. And I'm losing my place as I talk. That was a long line. I'm not going to read this one out to y'all. It's got a bad word in it. It's not that bad of a word, though. It's got a word for butts in it. Miss Bell. You could do the lyrics in a spiral. That would hurt my, that would give me a headache. But yeah, we'll figure out what different things I can do. I'm really happy with these um, postcards though. Quality wise for fountain pens. He got a bad word and a misspell. See, my handwriting is transitioned from smaller to larger as I've gone down the, the line. You can probably even see that in the, on the screen. 
I wasn't focused on keeping it small once I saw that I had room. All right. Hey, Toasty Treat. I think on this next one, we'll try a... Um, what if I, ah, no. I was going to say we'll try a different pen and ink, but I'm not sure I want to use, I don't know, I'm trying to think if I have any permanent type inks, because I think this one will, this one will work, but I think if I use like Papier Plume Oyster like I have in this pen, I think that could like really wash. We'll see. Tyler, turn that down. Reminds me of the time my government teacher gave us an index card to write notes on the final exam. Yeah, did the small stuff. Yeah, 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 for sure. All right. So let me switch the cam to write the address. All right, we'll do another one. I gotta think. I gotta think about this ink situation. Cause I'm good with the pilot. I'm good with the pilot ink, but. <laughs> oh I will write the address sideways at least. Do I need to put two, or like T O? On the on a postcard, or just cannot write the address. You know what I'm asking. This is the steel Kaveco steel sport. I'll show it to you in just a second, Tuca. Just the address is fine. Okay. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but I just want to make sure, especially since I'm using Twitch handles. Seven forty three with a PO nib is available. Crazy, crazy. All right, ended up with some extra space there. That's fine. Okay, cool. Let's see. Broke down. I got the steel sport. It's great, but I think I prefer the brass. Yeah, like I get that. I think the brass is definitely the most popular, right? I prefer the steel. I am a stain. If I'm picking like a heavier weight metal. I'll generally pick stainless steel if that's an option over brass or something similar. 
I do like the copper lily put though. I don't think I have one, but I've, I've tested those out. Those are pretty cool. But um, so yeah, that's the this one. I've just been writing with with the uh, premium nib, so I can review the premium nib later. Coming soon to a blog near you. Camera is really unhappy today. So there you go. But yeah, my preference. Yeah, why no copper sport? I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, the Lilliput's great, right? The Lilliput is fantastic. All right, let's do another card. I don't know. All right. There you go. If you want me to write you a postcard and you want to send me your address, type exclamation point raffle. Hey, question. For international postcards, do I need to stamp them differently? Because I know we have international viewers, right? So the first two have been in the U.S., so I have the standard postcard stamp. Do I need to stamp something differently for an international postcard? I just thought about that. Definitely. Hmm. I wonder how much. Use an international, just like the regular inter, like an, um, like a international letter stamp. I have some of those. Like the COVID stamps. Okay. Okay. All right. I have some of those. Okay. Good. International letter stamp. Okay, we're good then. Postcards. To another country costs the same as sending a letter. Okay, perfect. I can use 131 cent stamps. That'd be great. That would be great. Okay, well, good. I have some of those stamps handy if we have an international winner. So, like, I, I do everything to ship to the U.S. and international. So, all right. Let's see what we got here. Heath. Heath L2E. Heath, shoot me a whisper via Twitch with your address and tell me if you want explicit or non-explicit card or first time. I love it. First time, first time. Tell me if you want explicit or non-explicit in your uh, message to me, into your whisper, and then I'll pick a card. And then uh, well, I got a lyric picked out for you. There are explicit cards, yeah. I, I mixed them all up, so I don't... Let's see if I can find one. I mixed them all up, so I'd randomize it. Then I realized that was probably a mistake. Tell me how to whisper. There was a, um, there's a, if you're on mobile, there's little three dots next to my name. So you want to click on at pen addict on there, long press at pen addict or click on pen addict and there'll be an option to whisper me. Let's see if I can find some explicit cards. While we wait, there you go. Oh, I'm showing you. Punk as F word. Cheer the bleep up. I 
can't even read some of these. Chill the F out. Oh, here's a good one. That's a good one. F-tacular. That's a good one. <laughs> this was the, um, this is old. This is an old set. I don't know if they make them, but it's called uh, Keep Fresh, Stay Rad. It was a set of cards. And there was like, um, there was like 10, uh, 10 or 15 of different categories. <laughs> Tech fail, I'm not seeing you. Um, here, let's try this. Hey, or you can email me your address. Just email it if it's, do it. But like if I send this, if I send that, can you click on my name now? <laughs> Thanks, Toasty Tree. These are too good to use in the tournament of Kirby's Tastiest Stationery. Nice. You may have to be a follower. Maybe. Email's fine. I wouldn't think you'd have... No, you don't have to be a follower to whisper, I don't think. You shouldn't. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start writing, then I'll grab the address out the email. Can you send an explicit card to my boss and tell him to stop scheduling meetings during your stream? I'll work on that. So we'll do this card, then we'll do another giveaway, and then we'll see if we'll do one more or not, see what the time is looking like here. All right, let me check this email. I got Evan's address. I got Beth's email. All right, so I'm gonna pick you a card while you're sending me that and write your lyric. All right. <laughs> this one just says, yo. What does it say? Oi. Could say oi. MF Doom, MF Doom, Daniel Dumoulet. I like oi. It's hello at penaddict.com. So it's right up, scroll up a little bit and you'll see it in the chat. Yo or oi. Oh, it's called yo, officially called yo. All right. Dun, dun, dun. We are talking, I'm doing MF Doom lyric postcards. So since I did them sideways, I had a little bit of extra room. So we'll do this even tighter. Unlurk. <laughs> you don't have to unlurk or lurk. You can just chill. All right. I think, what am I gonna do? Just thinking about pens, if I should try something different. I think I'm gonna stick with the posting nib for now. And I think I will get, I'm, I'm due some, some pen refills here pretty soon. So I will make some more per, permanent ink, um, permanent ink setups here. It's a combination of production and MC MF Doom is probably one of the greatest hip hop artists of all time. Absolute legend. Absolutely, absolutely. What are you not thinking about pins? I know. So, yeah. Next batch of pins. I I am a little bit concerned about the like the severe non waterproofness of some of these pins. So I'm going to stick with this one for today and then we can do something else when I get some new pens inked up. Let me double check that I don't have anything permanent inked up. I don't think I do. Petrol, Manio, Alt Gold Groon. Yeah. Nothing permanent. Pedanic, have you seen the ink game I'm playing on Slack? No. There's a Slack? You can always cover the message with packing tape. That's not a bad idea. 
there's an easy solution in this problem. I understand that. I understand that. And that's what I'm, I'm thinking about for next time. All right. Let me get, let me get this going. All right. Here we go, Heath. No problem, no problem. No problem whatsoever. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna see how small I can write this. This is any, this is, this is still a long lyric. I'm gonna, Heath is gonna get tiny writing. Let's see if I can do tiny writing for Heath. This is gonna be, I'm gonna mess this up, I know. God, this isn't even as small as I can go. I just want to try to be consistent throughout the card. The card is bouncing a little bit when I write, so some of my lines are connecting, which I don't like. It'll be all right, though. You can still read it with a magnifying glass. And this will be good because I can experiment with different things. Oh, misspell already. I do have to get a little bit closer to the page though. Not for sight, but just for writing the small. It's like I have to be hunched over to write small. Need to be up close and personal with it, yeah. Like, I, I could do it from back here, but it helps my fineness being, like, hunched over it. Like, I think it's probably, like, getting my, letting my arm be less loose. Like, I don't want my arm to be loose at all. I'd attribute it to needing to lean over the pen since you're writing at a higher than usual angle, maybe. But yeah, I just don't want my arm to be loose. And if I'm sitting back, I get more arm into it, which is how you should write. Tyler scheming. Oh. Next time I do this, I'll have some background music playing. 
And just because I know it's boring. I don't, I don't like the quiet. Plus, it can drown out Tyler. And my breathing. It'll drown out my breathing. Starting since it's so getting so warm here, though. God dang it. I keep messing this one up. The pollen's starting to kick up. too fast, running too big. Yeah, small riders will say this isn't that small. This is pretty small for me, though. I'd, I'd even need a, a finer nib than this. This is about as comfortable of normal small riding as I'll go. Anything else would just be something experimental that I was trying. And I wouldn't pick this nib even for that. I have some needle points that write finer than this. I used to write small and hunt for smaller nibs and tips on gel pens, but now I'm setting it to cozy medium for most of my writing since I'm trying to get more consistent with cursive again. Yeah, with cursive, I think it's important to have a wider nib. Um, and honestly, over the years, my white, my writing, my just normal writing has gotten wider. Um, I'm starting to enjoy fine nibs as opposed to extra fine nibs and everything. Medium's still a little bit step too far for me, but um, otherwise, yeah. Have a Schaefer with a, what apparently a factory needle point. I would love to try that. Did any of y'all tense your lips when you write? I catch my catch myself going like really tense jaw. Would a sig nib work? I don't have a sig needle. What I need to do is do a cursive italic, a fine cursive italic with a permanent ink in here. That's what I'll do for next time we'll do it. 
I have an idea. Do my Sailor Ocean with that fine Curse of Metallic that I like, and then do like the um, like the Platinum Classic Cassis Black, like kind of the red black or purple black even. Something like that. I think that would look cool. No samples yet. <laughs> lies. Lurk lies. All right. There we go. Let me get this address. Got it. Let me take this off the screen. I have, I'll do an, I'll do one more. We'll do it with my um, mini architect. Um, it's just a, um, a non-permanent ink. So we'll test it out here in just a second. We'll do, we'll do one more with that one. Cause, uh, and we'll see how it does on this postcard. Cause that's a really sharp nib, but I think it'll work. All right. But I want to start mixing these up, but I do have moderate concern about the waterproofness. All right, good deal. Yeah, the pin show is definitely, definitely important. Yeah, let me know when you get it. Let me know when you get it. All right, let's try this architect. Oh, Sarah, I got your email if you're still listening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So we'll do one more with this nib. See why I did a, a mini Naganana for me? That I would probably get down with. I would like to try that Toasty Treat one of these years. That I could see. So this is, again, this is, I don't know why the camera's being a booty today. Probably because I have too much in the background. Just not able to show y'all. This is my micro architect. One of my micro architects. Bring it to Atlanta if you get to go. Okay, cool. Oh, you can't see it. But I'll show you what the line is like when we uh, do it. All right, let me, did I get stamp on that one? Yep. All right, let me... All right, let's do one more, then we'll do a giveaway, and then we'll do a, we'll do one more letter writing giveaway right now. Yeah, cover up the smand. Yeah, it's probably just picking everything behind it on the desk. All right, we'll do a postcard right now, and then we'll do a giveaway item after I'm done writing the next one, and then we'll call it a day. What's up, Gray Web? All right. Let's see what I want to do here. All right. 
Anything we need to discuss on the podcast tomorrow? I haven't started working on the show notes. Also, haven't started working on the par post for Panatic members. I have a busy afternoon that might not go out until tomorrow or late tonight. Or no, definitely not late tonight. We got another basketball game tonight. Um, yeah, any podcast stuff you want us to hit? F one. <laughs> that would be cool. New Kaveco design, which model, or is it, is it a new like barrel shape? I haven't seen that. I'll have to look for it. Is it in the slack? Pin construction materials reviews, acrylics versus metal versus acetate. That's a good, that's a good topic. I don't know if I can get that done for tomorrow, but I want to write that down. Filling system tier list. That would get us in a fight. That's cool. I'm going to write that down. That I might could get for tomorrow. I need to think about that. Hmm. Okay, I like that. Podcast, is it the distributors of a pin company that dictate why certain colors and styles are only available in the country I'm not in? That's a great question. I don't know that I have a great answer. And it's probably, I'll go ahead and try this now because I don't think I can get that for the for the show because I'm not clear. I think it's probably a little bit of both. Like it's just, it's it's the answer is it depends. I think some distributors have, say in some brands, colors like Pilot, for example, Sailor in North America. Um, and then in other parts of the world, they don't have a say, right? Dip nib superiority, Kamaterior one. It's Kam Kakamori. I keep calling it the Kamaterior. Kakamori, number one. Everything else, number five or below. For me, anyway. I think the distributors hate you. We should... They could. They might. No, they don't. What do you need to see in a limited edition to justify a price premium? That's a really good question because I've bought fewer um, limited editions recently than I ever have. I'm going to write that down. Sorry, I'll pick a winner here in just a second. Okay. Yeah, I like that question. All right. It's Pilot that I'm frustrated about. I love Pilot Custom 74 Teal, not in the UK. Pilot is one of the more confusing ones um, with how they do that. I, I don't totally get their deal. They're pretty secretive. Plus, they are very... We've talked in the past how about how weird some of like the pilot UK stuff is. Like that is one of the regions that has the the most challenge challenging time with pilot because there was a big there was a huge pricing discrepancy several years ago. Do y'all remember that? And then that's when we were talking to a few people. I think I Culpins maybe chimed in just saying how tough uh, pilot um, was in the UK. Just like how access was tough, pricing was tough. 
Taylor Swift notebook is out for delivery. I love that thing. All right, let me pick a winner. Sorry, I've been rambling. Komalt Dell. I, I can't... I know you've won before. Com, how do you say your name? Komalt Dell. Com, Alt, Dell. Like, Control, Alt, Delete. But, Com, Alt, Delete. <laughs> Command, Alt, Delete. Thank you. Command, Alt, Delete. It's the, it's the, com, it's the C-O-M... Come on, delete. Are you here? Do you want me to write you a postcard? And do you want that postcard to uh, contain dirty words? Command, alt, delete. It makes obvious sense once you say it. And now I will never miss say it again. I could not get that in my head in the beginning. Command, alt, delete. Can you whisper me your address and then tell me in that whispering any words I care to write? Because this... Um, this one has some, this one I, I'm about to write has some, has some words. All right, I'm going to randomly pick out a postcard for you. So I'm not going to look at the postcards. We're going to shuffle these up and we're going to go with, <laughs> you got the box logo one. <laughs> Keep fresh, stay rad. This is like literally the box logo card. <laughs> so that's yours. All right, so we're going to try this um, architect nib, micro architect, microtect nib. Keep fresh, stay Brad. That's actually hard to say. Did our mood magic work, Queen of Washi? That's narrow. Well, I've been writing the um, the addresses horizontally, so that's worked. I've been doing them this way, so it's actually not. But yes, at first glance, yes. But since I started writing them this way, it's good. All right. Um, have you sent me your address? Command Alt Delete. You trust me? That's a questionable decision right there, if I've ever heard one. But yeah, it's it's worked on these other ones. But we can always adjust later if necessary. All right. I'm going to try to write this. Okay, thanks. You can email it to me or whisper it, whatever. Just let me know where it's at so I can go get it. All right, we'll do this one, then we'll do a giveaway, and then we're probably going to wrap it for today. Email? Okay, thanks. I'll pull it up in just a minute. I'm thinking. Yeah, I think I'm going to write this a little bit bigger. Not huge, but I think if I write small, I think this nib is probably going to rip the rip the page. Yes and no? Well, we'll hopefully it's more yes than no. But we got you. This is pretty smooth on this this postcard. Yeah, no issues with the nib on this postcard. Bad word about your eyes. Oh, 
Can y'all hear this nib on this page? My pearls. This is actually better than I thought, this nib. If only if Alt Gold Grun was waterproof. So this is the Matthew Martin OG. This is a, this is fine. Fine steel micro architect. This is a lot of hard words. Roar and clinger. Cool, 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 cool. We're just doing lyrics on a postcard, yes. And we're just randomizing addresses. We're throwing people into the uh, the giveaway pool just to pick out a random person and then they email me their address and then I write down lyrics of MF Doom songs and then I send them to them. Just started today. <laughs> we should have had a poll if Brad was gonna make a mistake. Yeah, I made, I've averaged about one per card. So I think I made four mistakes, one clean, one with two, one with one. Yeah. One, one mistake. Oh, I don't want to show addresses. One mistake, one mistake, two mistakes. And then no mistakes on this one. But this was a shorter one. Does that a limited edition mean more to you than a country exclusive? They don't mean anything to me, honestly, anymore. I Those are... No. I, I assign no meaning to that it's just it would just be a limited a country exclusive is a limited edition to me i guess is probably the best way to say it all right let me put this address on here command alt delete there's stuff hey thanks temporarily arrived great all right let me get this done all right oh we got a uk one i shouldn't have put the stamp on let's see if i can save this stamp one You dingus, you big dingus. Silly, oh, we can save it. There we go. Saved. All right, we still have COVID stamps, so that's what you're getting. Those are COVID stamps. Poor hydrangea. 
Poor, poor hydrangea. Mistake. The mistakes loom large today. All right, let me do this, and then we're going to give something away. I don't know what yet, though, but we'll figure it out. The stamp color at least matches. I, li I like the pink and green look we got going here, though, so that's cool. And uh, Annabelle, you will be happy to know, even with a UK address, I had enough space um, on this side of the postcard to, to write the entire thing. Add this to the stash okay we did four today that's cool we'll see i might do this from time to time i think this is fun it oh chrysanthemum sorry chrysanthemum my bad i'm not uh i'm not up on my flowers chrysanthemum sorry chrysanthemum covid adam or whatever um oh was hydrangea the was that the green was it green Um, yeah, I think we'll do this from time to time because it allows me to use my pens and ink. They're red, just not that shape. Okay, then I didn't have those. The green was a succulent. Okay, I just remember having some green ones. Good morning, Urza. How are you? So yeah, we'll do some more of this postcard stuff. I think it's fun. It gives me a chance to use stuff. Um, I'm going to start using stickers and washi tape and all that stuff. I wasn't completely prepared. I just decided this right, right be like five minutes before I went live. So I wasn't completely prepared for what I was going to do today. Um, but I think we ended up, as long as y'all will agree, that we had ended up with some cool ideas for more. Just playing around with pens and paper. Um, so here's our, here's our postcards. <laughs> That micro architect, I got mine done from Mark Bacchus at Nib Grinder. So there was the postcards we're sending out. Yeah, y'all are always welcome to send me a card. My P.O. box. So there you go. So I think, yeah, like I said, I think we'll do this more. Um, you know, this could be like a once a week thing, just picking this up using your, uh, do I have a PO command? But I will, I will write it down for you. I don't have a PO, do I? Whoops. If not, I will make a PO command real fast so y'all can do it. We don't have a PO. You can make it like 10K channel points for getting one. It would have to be more than that. I can't do too many. <laughs> we'll figure I've thought about that. I've definitely thought about that. All right, let me do uh let me do a quick PO command.
Let me verify the zip code real quick. Yeah, 100K channel points. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I always get my zip code confused. Oh man, that's right. Oh, weird. I did three different. Ooh, should I put that all on one line? That was weird how I did that. Tyler says hi. I've never done a, a different line one. <laughs> I saw someone redeem one million the other day. Have the stream by themselves, poutine. One line separated by a semicolon. Let's see where did it go. No, not yet. see if this is better the points aren't for really anything we could do like um there we go that's better um we could do like there's there's types of collaborative point goals you could make like i could set like um if we did if y'all donate one million points then Brad does a pen cleaning stream, that type of thing, right? We could do something, do something like that, right? Or, you know, different, different things. Or, you know, donate 2 million points. Brad cleans all of his fountain pens, no matter how soon he's inked them, and then inks up all new fountain pens, that type of, that type of stuff. Channel points could re be a big giveaway at the end of each month. That's not a bad idea. Do like a, a collaborative... One million for Brad to come to the Dutch pin show wouldn't take much. Brad does a kickflip. That would be bad. I've, I've already have broken things. Some folks have redeems. You can cash in points for prizes, actions. Yeah, like actions. Like I don't really have any actions set up. Make make Brad use a Bic for a day. Do a pencil stream. I was actually thinking about a pencil stream uh, just the other day, so maybe we'll do a pencil stream soon. We can do that for sure. I've done one before, but it's been a couple years probably. So, yeah, we can totally do stuff. All right, Brad try, Brad learns pin spinning. I would buy one of those fancy pins to do it. We will definitely do a pencil stream. I don't even need to be bribed to do that. I was just thinking about the other day. All right, let me find something to give away. Speaking of new, Blackwing Labs just announced has red core. Interesting. I'm always interested to try other people's like red core pencils to see how natural they feel and how not clay they feel. Not clay like I taught myself during boring economics class. One million Brad writes you a real letter, not a postcard. Yeah, we we will probably do something like that test. That that like I would be up for that. A billion points, Brad tries something new. I try something new sometimes. I guess I'm just set more set in my ways now. What could what could be something new I try? I hey I just get I just did the. Uh, I just did the Kakamori dip nib. That was new last week. Last week, that was new. Come on. Unfair. Unfair. All right, what are we gonna give away? All right, speaking of pencils, we'll give away this monstrously overpriced Karen Dash set. The Rotring Rapid Pro. Yeah, the Rapid Pros are pretty good. Especially like like for a, a different price point, right? Even though I don't think the um, the six hundreds are overpriced, the uh, Rapid Pro is definitely a different price point. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the uh, the eight hundreds worth it. That's just me. That that's a me thing. Plus the aesthetic, the gold trim on that is not my thing. We know that. Yes, the um, the exotic wood set, but only 
the two pencil Swiss wood set, not the full exotic wood set. I don't have that. I don't, I don't have like the $200 that thing is cost to, to own. All right, so this is the Swiss wood set. It's literally these two pencils. So it's the pine and then the uh, stink wood. Um, and then it has an eraser and a sharpener and it's mega overpriced. That's why I got these uh, on like closeout or something. Discover all the beauty of the Swiss forest with the new Swiss wood gift set consisting of two pencils made from Swiss pine forest of made from the Swiss pine forest of Grachen and Glovelier Beach and completed with an eraser and a sharpener. It encapsulates the aesthetics that nature has to offer. It also encapsulates, encapsulates the price point that Karen Dash would like to sell you these at. Um, the limited edition range is Swiss made right to the heart of the wood originating from the traditional craftsmanship of Karen to Ashes Geneva workshops. Hashtag we are proud. It doesn't say that. Yeah, two pencils. So I think I got these for 50% off because <laughs> no one's going to buy these for $26. So I think I got these. I, I think I got it for half off if I'm recalling correctly. <laughs> like at a pin show or something. So, Whew. all right, let's give it away. Yeah, that's a lot of words to say. It's two nice pencils we expect you to pay a lot for. Yeah. Worth every penny? Facts. All right. Reset. All right. All right. Giveaways open. Anyone can enter worldwide. You don't have to be a follower, subscriber, any of that stuff. I ship all over. Um, the coolest part of the giveaway is the ramen sticky sticker or the ramen uh, post-it I put on here. Even though it's not sticky, you get a ramen sticker uh, to write your name. You're in Antarctica? We, we've we been looking for someone in Antarctica. We couldn't find anyone. We need, we have a, we have a quiz for you to answer. I know, I know you're not. <laughs> yeah, we still need someone who is stationed in Antarctica to answer a survey for us. That way we cover the, all the continents. It's the only continent we're missing from the Panatic survey. So if anyone has a line to uh, uh, a friend in Antarctica, hit me up. We'll make it happen. We'll reopen the survey for that one Antarctic listener. We're going to need proof, though. We'll need some proof. We don't have any ISS uh, submissions, no. We sure don't. That would be cool. How many more years do we have to get an ISS submission? When are they decommissioning it? Like eight more years? If someone is part of the TPA group in Antarctica, they probably have a PhD. Factually correct. Don't your fingernails pop off in Antarctica? I don't want to hear that. I, I do not want to hear that. Yeah, I think the, the ISS has like an eight or ten more year runtime, right, before they dump it. Am I, mis, am I misremembering that fact? I, I, I'm very willing to be very wrong on that. But for some reason, that's in my head that it's got like less than a decade left of uh, lifespan. I mean, then they'll make another, I mean, they think they're going to have another one, right? But uh, I, 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 you could probably have to do some fact checking on that. It's decommissioned or it's going to be decommissioned. Yeah, I thought it was, it had like an end of life. Yeah, 10 years. Okay, I'm not totally crazy. I thought that I'd read that. I think it just came out recently. That's why it was stuck in my head. All right, picking a winner. Into grooming. Into grooming. Me too. I'm going to go get a haircut this afternoon, hopefully. Hopefully going to get a haircut this afternoon. I'm also into grooming. Hey, <laughs> have you won before? I don't think you've won before. Email me, hello at pinac.com, your shipping address. I'll get this out this week.
All right. Man, Twisby Swipe is so good. Should I get the salmon? I don't need the salmon one. I'll probably get some uh, the salmon ones to give away. I don't like the salmon enough to keep it. What is your time for a haircut threshold? Um, definitely over the ears bugs me. I usually trim this before I get haircuts. Um, I would like to go every four weeks. It tends to be more like every five. I want a yellow swipe. I, I too would like a yellow swipe. I would like a purple swipe. I wish at six weeks I am just going berserk because I don't like the side of my head to be hair to be long. Six weeks is I like I don't know what did I do during COVID times. COVID times I've cut it some of myself and I don't know. It's been in COVID in the beginning of COVID it was months. Like I had some really long hair and then I would trim this. I just trim the sides with my beard trimmer. <laughs> They only didn't call it salmon. That just puts me off. I don't disagree. Get, get composted. I want a purple axle. Well, I'm glad you changed your name because there used to be someone else in here named uh, Tessa Murphy that wanted a purple axle too. Maybe y'all can talk. And maybe, I don't know if you've ever gotten a, a hippo noto, but you should probably look into those. I think you would like them. Test stitch. <laughs> Brad, next week we need a Mardi Gras stream, gold and purple ink stream. Maybe it's a Fat Tuesday next week. Ooh, that's a good idea. That's a pretty good idea. I need a king cake. I, I do need a king cake, though. That would be the bomb. Although that would blow my diet out of the water. We, can't, we couldn't be in these shirts. <laughs> brass. Ooh, man. Purple axle with brass grip. Like in the best way possible. That would be. I'm actually going to write that down. Because we don't have. We have purple in the. At least on the list. Not in the pipeline. Not coming soon. Maybe not at all. But I'm going to write that down. Yeah, the spoke uh, four, uh, purple and gold. It's the best. Brad, if you do a pencil stream, is it something you would announce? Schedule ahead of time? And if so, where should I check for announcements? I never announce the topic ahead of time, only because I don't plan for them that far ahead. I'm not lying when I said I decided what I was doing today five minutes before we went live. Sometimes, like, I will announce them at the end of a stream if I know, say, tomorrow or Thursday I'm going to do ink sampling. So I could say on a Tuesday, hey, Thursday we'll do the pencil stream, but it wouldn't necessarily be published, like, on Twitter or in the Twitch schedule, something like that. So that would be the thing. That would be that would be how it would do. And, like, I can do that. Like, I can plan that ahead. I could say, like, on Thursday, like, hey, next Tuesday we'll do a pencil stream, something like that. But um, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, oh, I love I love talking pencils. We'll do a whole we'll do a whole pencil stream. I'll do the post I'll do postcards and pencil too. Pencils would be great. Pencils would be great. Can you link the pencil set so I can take a screenshot? My life will love one of these. Yeah, that is a hard one to find. Let's see. New sailor just dropped. Put a link in here if you have it. O four A. Karen Ash. These are great pencils. Like for all the joking we made about. The price of those pencils, they are legitimately great pencils. One of my favorites. Let me see if I can find the little set. This is an older set too, so I don't think they're around anymore. Here we go. Oh, that doesn't work. You can copy that. That's just an image. But it looks like Karen Dash has them. I mean, uh, Colt Pens, excuse me. Pardon me, pardon me. Let's see if I can find an actual real link to them. Here you go. This is better. This has three pencils. Yours only has two. Same idea, but it only it had this one has three pencils. 
yours does not have three pencils. Yours only has two pencils. Oh, four, a loading real slow. Okay. Gray web. Do you sometimes play with white ink on black paper? Yes. Yeah. I don't know how your plotters would handle the white ink because it's so finicky. I'll show you. So I did this one on cardboard. So this is the uh, the Signo UM-153. It's considered the best uh, gel ink, white gel ink, the most consistent from the tip. You're still gonna get like a little bit of skipping and stuff like that. This one's pretty consistently recommended the highest, like by a pretty good margin right there's not a lot of great options in this spot so all right let's see this new sailor oh that's pretty it's like the reverse of bisu i was using my bisu the other day the the abisu has a black cap and then a, a bright gold um barrel stellar black hole limited edition There you go. There's a bigger picture. <laughs> All right. Have fun, Schmevelin. Secure gel works well, too, but the Sigma is even better. Yeah. Sigma. Yeah. I like that it's consistently sparkly, right? That the, the cap and the barrel are both sparkle material. It looks good. I need to not love sailors anymore. Too expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder when the next sailor I will buy is. Who knows? All right. Cool. Looks like a Georgia Tech pen is very Georgia Techy, very Missouri. Very, you could even pass some Purdue in there. Yep, looks good. All right, wow, long stream today. I didn't even realize it. That's why I like doing the writing stuff. It's fun. It's fun, takes up some good time. Um, whoops, sorry. Um, anyone... Anyone we should throw it to? Anyone streaming? Let's see. Oh, Mike's streaming. All right, let's throw it to Mike. Heart and create. Oh, Heart and Creativity's journaling. Let me see that one. Sorry, Mike. You know I love you, Mike, but we do like to follow, find some journaling streams, especially a new one that I haven't heard of. Heart. Are they in Makers and Crafting? I haven't put up the... I haven't typed it in yet. Let's see. Happy Destiny 2 today. Yes. button dingus okay we're gonna go sorry we're gonna go to heart and creativity but yes, I will be playing Destiny maybe tonight. No, not tonight. I don't know if I'm going to have time to play today, unfortunately. Which stinks, but oh well. Alright, let's go surprise Heart and Creativity.
All right. Y'all play nice. Have fun. Happy Tuesday. All right. Y'all have a good day. Thanks. Thanks for hanging out.